All right, let's look at how we can use Flipgrid on a mobile device. So I'm on an iPhone right now, um, and what I've already done is I've downloaded the Flipgrid app from the App Store. Just kind of a reminder that uh, you, uploading your videos to Flipgrid has to happen on the app. It cannot happen on a mobile web browser like Safari or Chrome. You can use the web version on a desktop or a laptop, so just kind of be aware of that. So I'm going to click on Flipgrid, and I've got, I'm going to go to uh, this topic of the characteristics of a good teacher. Okay, now one of the things that we can do with this is that we can add this wall background. Okay, so what I would do is I would just download it to my computer or to my phone. Okay, I'm going to save the image to my phone. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that record button in the bottom right hand corner. Now you may have seen in a previous uh, demonstration that uh, it was a green plus. Well this time because they've made an update it's a red uh, video camera button. So I'd click that and if, so there I am, wee, if I wanted to add that background to it I'd click on effects and I'd click photo and I'd go find the image that I wanted and all I have to do is I have to just kind of make it as big as I want it to be. Okay. Now if I wanted to type on there I could click on effects and I could add text. Alright, so characteristics of a good teacher. Okay. And I can play around with the spacing of it. So let's say I want it to be there, or I want it to be like that. I can change the colors. I like that, so I might like the yellow. Um, <clears throat> I can get rid of the background. I kind of like that. Different color. I do like that purple. All right. So then I could just going to move that where I want it to go. Uh, let's say I want to add some other effects to it. Uh, once I click on effects, and since I was just in text, if I click uh, the arrow next to the word text, It'll take me back to the menu that I had before. So maybe I want to find some emojis. Uh, so I could use emojis to help me uh, fill out this Flipgrid. So I think that one of the characteristics of a um, good teacher is that they listen. Okay. So found that. Listen. And I can resize it. I can move it where I want it to go. <clears throat> see. Uh, I think another characteristic of a good teacher is that they care. Uh, oh, so I don't find anything. So caring would be, let me, what about a heart? Let's see what I come up with. Perfect. Ooh, I like the green heart. So I can, once again, move it around, resize it. Okay. Let's say I want to add some text to it. I get out of the emoji and I could in some text. So I could say that they are caring. Change the font. I can change the outlining and the color and I can change whether or not it has a background. But I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, Resize, move it around, however you want to do that. Um, okay, so if I click on effects, I'm back in the text. If I get out of there, um, <clears throat> maybe there's uh, another photo that I wanted to add there. So that photo if I want to. I can add, ooh, I'm going to add a GIF. So let's see. Teacher. I'm the teacher. Let's see. Uh, ooh, let me hit you with some knowledge. That's kind of a fun one. All right. <clears throat> so now 
I let's say I have uh, everything that I want on there. It's the way I like it. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit record. Notice in the upper right hand corner, it's giving me a countdown. So I have 50 some seconds left. If I wanted to not say anything and I just wanted the image the, and the icons and the, the GIFs and anything else to speak for themselves, I could hit the record button and just say nothing. When I'm done, I'll click stop. Okay. Then my next step is you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's got the, the uh, kind of a snapshot of the uh, video that I just took. It's kind of flashing green around there and it's got that check mark. What it's asking me to do is to click that so I can move on. <clears throat> now, if I wanted to redo what I'd already done, there is a retake button. And it will just basically uh, prompt me to do I want to, should I erase what I've already done? You would say yes, um, and then you would start over. But let's say I'm happy with it. I would click that. It allows me to preview. You might not hear any sound. Just because of the way I've got it kind of plugged in. But if I'm okay with it, I can click that. Next thing I do, add a selfie. If I don't want a selfie of my face, I could put a board. I could get rid of the board. Let's see if I get rid of the board. I could put an emoji over my face. I could add a photo. Okay, lots of things that I can do. When I uh, ready for my selfie, I click the, uh, the camera icon, and if I'm good with it, I hit the green arrow or the green check mark. Now, if I want to add some things, like I can add, I can draw on it. Okay, so. And then uh, it's got a place for me to title my video, uh, or it's got my name on there, but then I could add a title so I could put characteristics of a good teacher. Okay. <clears throat> and then when I'm done with the title, I click done. And then it's you can see that it says my topic is moderated. Uh, my video is going to be visible once it's approved. Um, so hopefully that helps you create your Flipgrid videos.